morning you guys welcome back to the channel we're on the lambing job again we'll have a look and see is any more lamb this morning and how the ones from yesterday are doing and i have a sheep to catch as well more on that later nice fresh pair there lovely texely lambs nice you too lamb has quite the stuck tail i hope that's not a quite well stuck there i wonder whether should i try and catch him or not because we lost the lamb last year with stuck tail such a way to lose a lamb like. <laughs> you're easy enough cut bah, bah. Ah. Ah, i'd say it was easy now easy easy bah. Mum's gone for a bit of a walk. Meh. She's only a single, so she shouldn't go too far with her. Meh. She's coming now, though. This is the sheep that myself and Casey caught yesterday. So basically, I decided not to handle her. Figured there was a lamb in her. Anyways, dad came back yesterday yesterday evening and she had, she was standing over this lamb here. Might try, she's right in the middle of the fee now, that's the problem. So we try and head her that way. Going the way we want her so far. Keep going girl, come on. Head for the ditch. Not that way. That's not the way, no, 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 no. I don't know where she's gone now. Damn it. I want to try and be careful now. I do not want to be a Miss Mother and Lambs because it leads to a lot of work for me trying to get them back together. And particularly, there was a good few of them lambed yesterday. So, one here, I think this is her up ahead. But there's a wall in between us two. Right. I've got my dog. I'm not going to let her down yet because she'll only scare the sheep. She's not as easy carried as she was last year. She wintered well. <laughs> She'd probably say the same about me though. I'll be the handiest thing at this stage. Come by, come by. Just let them in here. This is the sheep here, so I'd let the rest of them go if I could, but shh, 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 come on. She's sticking tight to them. Lie down, Casey, come here, come here. Come here, too tight. Ah, Casey, Casey, come here. Casey, come here! Lie down! Lie down! Lie down! Chill out, dog! Casey, come here! Casey! Lie down! Lie down! Sheep are heavy and lamb! Lie down! Lie down! This is the girl, she's just bloody... Get in there! Go on! Get in, get in there by yourself! Go on! That's the one! Lie down! Lie down! Here, but at the end of the world, she'll be alright. We'll bring her home and we'll put a lamb on her. I'd say there's people from Australia and New Zealand that watch the videos now, they're wondering what am I doing? What the hell am I doing? What was the point of going to this effort to get this sheep? And well, what I'm doing is I'm adopting a lamb on to her. We're gonna bring her home, we're gonna adopt the lamb on, we're gonna get a pet lamb off a neighbour. If you don't put something on her, she's just gonna be on land here, she's gonna be eating grass for the year and producing nothing. Rented land in particular is expensive, so like in order to try and get a return out of it, I think you need to have as many sheep producing as possible. While she would have produced nothing if you had left her, putting the lamb on her now, she's producing something for the year. She's rearing a lamb that you can sell. So that's why we do it right or wrong. What goes on over here? She should be comfortable there till I get home. Back of that joke is a mess. There's shearing equipment in it from, probably Dram is doing a bit of shearing in the winter. There's no need, must take it out now. Definitely people scowling at me now for not having stuff and not being organized. I have, I have the gel today. Only home a week from Australia.
Look at this fella. Big groove. Big brood of a Suffolk Graham lamb. Casey's minding him. Sniffing him, taking a look at him. Casey. <laughs> Don't have her. I have the O in the back. So I have the lamb in the front because they say with adoptions that the O shouldn't see the lamb before you try and adopt them on. Oh, we appear to have a sheep here that's given birth to two lambs and some fencing equipment. Ah, yeah. I think they'll both look reasonably good. A few sucked. Uh, your mouth is fairly warm anyway. Oh, come back, Mum. Oh, lovely. I was wondering why it was blatant. Casey, here, here. This one, this one. Good girl. Come on, come on, come on. Hold it, Casey. Hold, hold, hold. Hold, Casey, hold. Girl, Casey, come on. Just running through the dog. Come on, Casey, come on. Good girl, keep going, Casey, keep going. Casey, here. Feet are coming, head is coming, but the head is swollen, so I'd say she's been trying to land for a bit. All right, girl, you need to stop trying to get up. Do Laura Regan's trick. Put the jacket over the head, see if that works. Get out, Casey. Get out. Get out. Lie down. Oh, what a savage blam. Come on, Bert. Come on, Gert. Push. Push. Come on, Gert. Push. 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 Come on. Lamb out. Big old lamb. I think it was a good thing I was there because the head was starting to swell up. Coming correctly, but head was starting to swell up, so she was obviously trying to lamb for a bit. So I think I'm glad I caught her. She's not responding to that lamb. She needs to start licking him. Needs to start bleating. Head's a bit swollen, but not too bad. I've seen worse. Lovely lamb. She's not running off on you. I think she is kind of licking the lamb too. Which is good. All right, we'll get out of here, Casey. Best chance for going away then. Radio. So we have this trap. It's a contraption that will hopefully deal with the crows. So I got the trap off a friend, got the crow off a different friend and basically grey crows are meant to be very territorial so this one's obviously from a different area and the idea of it is a crow from a different area the local ones will see it and they will come in here to try and fight it or kill it and basically this one is in this compartment I have to feed it now, I have to give it because we have to keep it fed um, in order to keep it alive and then there's a compartment here and there's a compartment here yeah, okay that one's not set now i see yeah this one's set this one must have fell like the wind or something so i'll probably set that one again and basically there's a trap door and basically if it comes in if it hits them at all the trap door will go up and catch the throw in it and then you catch them the local throws so basically this is our crow from a different area that we had in and keeping that one fed these are the two trap doors i only actually set one of them and sure enough a crow came in after this one and got caught yeah it's quite the trap See, look at them like they're they're pretty strong like look at the beaks on them 
Like you can see how they do damage to a lamb. No bother. You picks out that fella in your eyes or your tongue and you'd be sore after. Seemed like more. I'd say they could have been. I'm on the phone to, I'm on the phone to Jazz here as I'm walking through the field. She's lambing in Scotland. Say hello to YouTube, Jazz. Hi! <laughs> Everyone's af asking after you in the comments. They're like, where's Jazz gone? So I don't think I actually got any footage of this girl or the lamb inside the shed, but they went into the shed two days ago. Dad set up the pin and put them in, and then Joanne took them out today, two days later. So it's good. Don't have to do everything around here, there's plenty of help. So we're back up for an afternoon check and I've got this pair with me. I'm very colourful, I, yeah, green and pink and black, bit of a colour clash there, but it is St. Patrick's Day though, so I have a little bit of an excuse for looking like an Egypt. <laughs> I see hats, off shell jacket, hoodie, all available on the merch store. Thanks a million for the orders over the last few days, guys. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, it means a lot. It's springtime, it's a lean time of year as a sheep farmer. You're working flat out to save as many lambs as you can. Till I start cheering again, I won't be, there'll be nothing coming into the account. So the little bit income to tie me over until May, it, like it means a lot and I feel very fortunate to do what I do. She's thin. She might just be able to make that out behind her. She's very fond of the lamb though, so. Um, Hopefully she'll, ah, she'll work now. It is only a single at the end of the day, but yeah, it'd be good to get her out onto a little bit of grass, get a bit of milk for that big lamb. Oh ho, just popped. Lovely, oh, no, don't worry, this is, stay with them. I'll not bother you. Two lovely lambs. Look at you. No, I'm not your mum. Making a great go to get up. Oh, I'll take you. I'll put you over here. Completely slobbery wet, not long pop. Now, there you go, Mrs. Belt away. Well, I've seen them all now and everything looks to be in order, so nothing more to it, honey. Hit the road and get home. <laughs> 